back to the channel. Just before I start this video, I want to point out something that's going on in Scotland now that's very concerning. The new hate bill that's just gone through and is now in effect in Scotland basically says that you can't say anything, even in your own home, that someone may find offensive. Now, this isn't a crime per se. It goes down as a hate incident, but it can stop you from getting employment in certain jobs and it will be on a record somewhere within the police. This is an absolute violation of all of your rights to say what you think about certain topics and certain subjects in Scotland. Scotland has always been a fantastic place to live, a beautiful country with brilliant people in it. I really like the place. This god-awful piece of legislation was the brainchild of Humza Yusuf, who is now the Scottish First Minister. He took over from Nicola Sturgeon, who was terrible in her own way as well. This is an attack, an egregious attack, on the free speech of every single Scotsman and Scotswoman in the country. I can't believe this has actually gone through and been passed. It's ridiculous. The ability to say your piece on certain subjects and certain sensitive topics is the linchpin of a free and democratic society. And this is a blatant hammer blow to that. I think it's disgusting. I just wanted to touch on that before we get into this video. I'm going to go in and grab a few photos of the ones in here. There's no sign saying to keep out, so... I'm just getting some uh, pictures of the marked cars and stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, just getting one going in or coming out, so I just got you guys uh, on the way in, if you will. So. All right, cool. What for? It's just social media, is it? Or? Yeah, aye. It's. Uh, if you're friends with me, dog, you're friends with me as well, so that's oh, yeah. good for me. It's all right, mate. We just had a couple of. Um, we had like a, a guy out here the other day, being a bit weird, and we were phoning and stuff. Not, weren't you? But we oh, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to make sure. All oh, right, how do you mean he was being weird? What was he doing? Was he just trying to be awkward and stuff? Um, yeah, no one really engaged with him because, yeah, he's just been a bit awkward, yeah. All oh, right, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Just, just a bit weird behaviour. Oh, are you familiar with the, are you one of the, when they do the audits and things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah are you aware of it then, are you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of them are all right like yourself but others they're just out to, for a confrontation if you will yeah. you won't come out and say oh yeah you're all right i'm just getting a few pictures blah 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 immediately it's a case of well none of your business blah 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 blah, blah. that's not it's how you do it secret here, mate. no i know i'm just grabbing a few pictures and seeing if, if anyone's about just to say hey and see how you are and stuff so no, we're, we're all good um, yeah we're all good just you know aye so here we see Matt 12128 with Oscar, his dog, having a conversation outside a police station with two constables. And I've got a lot of respect for Matt. I like him. I think he's a really friendly guy. And he's done a lot for the accountability side of policing in terms of being on YouTube. So that being said, I do have to disagree slightly with what Matt just come out with there. Um, there are some people that go out there with just the intent of a confrontation to get some views but they are still within their rights to do it and the police 
have to act professionally. If someone comes up to a police constable or a police com- constable comes up to them and there's an issue with the filming, it's on the police to act professional, not the member of the public. The member of the public isn't there representing the Crown, the constable, the PCSO or the sergeant is. We see too many times the police think they can act how they like. Uh, Matt's always very friendly, but also I think assertiveness is a good thing. I think it's a really strong virtue to have. Let's keep watching. Yeah, I've got a couple of shots of him going and stuff, so I've got some photos, so I'm going to head off now anyway. I've got a bit of a... I had a good chat with you guys as well. All right, nice for... Do you load them up to social media? Yes, I do. I do. I pop them on my YouTube account, so, yeah. Matt. Are you Matt 2128? I am, yeah. Most people recognise the dog more than anything. You've been to Fort haven't you? Where's that? Peterborough. Peterborough. Um, I have done, you mean Peter, the proper Peterborough police yeah. station? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I met a sergeant there, he was absolutely spot on. Yeah. So, also, as well, you do having a good run, you Cambridge a lot. Um, have you seen my headquarters video? Yes, I have, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, he was that far away from getting police station of the year award, but I ended up giving it to a fella in Newquay because he was like, uh, I don't know if you've seen the Newquay one, but if you haven't, have a look at that. He was yeah, absolutely he was fantastic. Bit, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So he was, after after someone joked about me being tasered, which <laughs> yeah. uh, I was waiting for everyone to say, oh, you, she needs sacking for this, that, and the other, because uh, again, a lot of them that watch it sort of like just have a beef with the police, full stop. <laughs> Whereas the other yeah, half, yeah. They, they have a general interest in seeing how it goes, but. You know what I mean? Some people are, you know, no matter how hard you try, they'll never be happy with you sort of thing. No, they just no, got it in for you. At the end of the day, I, I, I take pictures, I, I do a lot of aviation oh, photography. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you, you, you know... I, I do uh, railways and trains. Myself. Yeah. I'm going to edit that out because I'll get the Mickey truck out of me. I don't, it's going to be a secret for all my viewers, but yeah. So, what is true? Like I do like railway photography. I used to going back in the 90s and stuff. It's gone a bit flat now. It's a bit boring, but yeah, back in the 90s, I used to love it and do a lot of pictures and stuff like that, but... Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, what are we are now thirty six thousand. Oh, yeah, quite so, a lot then. Yeah, uh, you, few people will see you. Don't worry. Is it? Matt one two one two eight. Anyone who's familiar with Matt's channel will know how friendly he is. He takes his dog with him. That's a uh, icebreaker, really. I think, which is a really good idea actually, using the dog as a a tool to get you know maybe more of a friendly interaction with the police. But unfortunately, you're not dealing with the most friendly of people with the police. They're very antagonistic in most cases. They are very confrontational in most cases. And in this video, you're seeing him be very friendly towards the police, having a little chit chat. I would always err on the side of caution if you're going to speak to the police about anything. I don't like this friendly chat mentality that the public seem to have with the police because it's never a friendly chat always a fishing expedition so i just want you to be careful when you're speaking to police knowing what you're saying to them is paramount and just err on the side of caution let them do a lot of the talking i get shot down for giving me channel out as well so but yeah, well, I, I don't mind you, you pe don't people you? don't understand that you can't Sorry, sort mate, of like uh, one two one two eight one, two. people think some of them think you can some sort of like super spies or something you can trace me address from a youtube channel which you can't he's a scratter yeah i've had to say to people when i've caught him on camera and he's doing that constantly he hasn't got fleas he's just you got a new subscriber oh spot on you're my first policeman subscriber that's actually admitted it anyway i know i've got a few policemen in the the um sort of comments section a lot of them are you know i'll give you stick and stuff but some of them are all right at the end of the day mate this isn't a secret building yeah yeah there's nothing secret about here. Do you know what? If all you lot, every single one of you, read off that script, this lot would die out. It would go. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? The, the quicker you sort of pass the word around to oh, everyone, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm, I'll say, tell everyone. If someone comes around taking pictures, go and have a crack with them. Yeah. If they start being funny off the bat, just say whatever and I'm, walk away. Don't give them the content. I, I can understand the, um, the, the threat of terrorism these days. Yeah, yeah. Me wrong, but at the end of the day, yeah. you know, but it's like I, I, it's like I say, it, realistically speaking, you're going to get that more at, say, a train station yeah, than a yeah. police station. 
and like I said before, you, you get people with cameras taking pictures all the time down there. No one says a dicky bird to them. But uh, I get more than the terrorism threat, the sort of like personal v kit vehicles yeah, and say, things yeah, like yeah. that. Is that sort of thing? Just about yeah, well, that's what I mean. Well, I always say I won't get any personal ve no, vehicles, which I don't. I always yeah, cut yeah. them out, and that's fair enough. I mean, there's a couple of them where they've been like totally off, and I said, well, I'm not, you know, yeah, yeah, going to cut it out sort of thing. But that's what gets some cops up. Is cause yeah, well, that's right, yeah. Aspect, yeah. You know, yeah. Work, fair yeah. enough. You know. And when we, we have got people who, um, I ain't going to name names of places. Oh, yeah. We've no. got people that pay an unhealthy interest in, in like coppers and... Oh yeah, uh, that, that so, goes without saying. Genuinely, 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 it's done quite recently. It, uh, it goes without saying, yeah. yeah. For that reason, that's, uh, yeah. we've got to be a little bit more vigilant. I just want to touch on a point that the police constable's making here, which I believe he's talking knackers. The issue that he's got is that people take pictures of police cars and personal vehicles going in and out of the police station. It's perfectly lawful, perfectly lawful to do so. Why would the legislation not be in place if that was a credible threat towards the police or any other authority within the UK. There would be legislation in place and there isn't. So Parliament just simply doesn't agree with this police constable. And they can't have it all their own way. The police constantly take your reg when you get pulled over. They have AMPR cameras everywhere now. The ULES cameras that are in London and the surrounding areas that are just chucking out fines left, right and centre, using your data, using your personal reg plate. Well, it's not personal because the DVLA own that. You're, you don't own it. You just put it onto your car to make your car road legal. It's time that the police stopped this stupid excuse-making session when they speak to photographers about taking pictures of cars. It needs to stop. It's a silly, silly argument. And it's one that comes from a, a place of cowardice, in my opinion. But that, that's what I mean, that's understandable. That, that's talking sense. But if you come out with all the terrorism, we need to search, we need to look through your phone, and it'd have been, what a load of bollocks. You've just been, you know, it's just an ego thing. Yeah, yeah. But when you say it like that, yeah, I understand yeah, that, and that's yeah, fair yeah. play. Yeah, you, you've got every far, right to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, had, we had an email the other day of someone who's... Um, lingering for the wrong reasons, and yeah, you've got to check it out, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. But it's like I say, there's a way and means of doing it. If you, you know what I mean, just come out and treat people how you'd want to be treated yourself. And oh, yeah, right, if, yeah. if you don't get it back, then you know, like you, you say, I, mean, I, don't, I know you, I know it's a lot of content and stuff, but it's yeah, we're, 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 we're interesting. We're in. Yeah. We're part of the neighbourhood team mate, anyway, so we're, yeah. we're about a lot. Cool. And, uh... Good stuff. Yeah, it's like I say, Cambridge Police is probably one of the forces we've had the most sort of like positive vibes from. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it, it's good. So it's like I say, pass the word round, keep it up and yeah. uh, read the comments on this video. You'll get a lot of love off everyone. No, Despite the, all the hatred comments you get on the other ones when they're playing up, it works both ways, especially yeah, with the people yeah, watching. There's no point of being anti, is there? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you're just here to film. Well, that's it's right, yeah. Secret about it. yeah. So looking at this footage, you would think that the police here are very nice and they're polite and they come across very well. And they do. And Matt is polite with them. But I want you to scratch the surface away a little bit here and look at the deeper context of this interaction and how it's played out. Matt has offered quite a lot of information when he's talking to these police constables. And you might think, well, that's alleviating any fears that they've got. But I don't believe they had fears in the first place. What I believe happened here is that the police looked at Matt and they came out to see if he was filming and what he was filming. And Matt was very forthcoming with the information that they wanted. Now, that's totally up to the individual. If, if Matt wants to do that, that's fantastic. If that's why he wanted to interact. But you don't have to do that. And what we see time and time again in these videos is the police not understanding the fact that you have rights and you don't have to explain yourself to the police when you're doing nothing wrong. I believe if Matt would have just said, look, I'm filming, I don't want to be disturbed, I think that would have got the backs up a little bit more. I think that the interaction would have turned into all the interactions really we see online now where the police have this over-inflated sense of entitlement to everyone's information and to berate the public. That's what I think would have happened. I could be wrong. Tell me what you think in the comments about this video. I want to thank Matt12128 for the awesome work he did with his dog Oscar going around the country and videoing the police. It makes for entertaining viewing, but it's educational as well. So thanks for that, Matt. 
you should all go to his channel and have a look. He's got some fantastic videos on there. I've been Mr. In Between, and I shall see you in the next one.